Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Josie K. Tarot. I'm Josie K. and this is the career and finance reading, money and finance reading for the second half of June of 2020. I'm going to be using the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland. And then I'm going to clarify these messages by bringing in the Archangel Gabriel deck by Doreen Virtue. So now is the time, mid-2020, where people are starting to recognize, am I happy, am I not? What is it that I'm good at? What is it that I've always wanted to learn about or do? What is it that I can teach others? For the second half of 2020 is about putting into action our soul purpose, God's purpose for us, the path by which we can find complete joy and happiness. So ask yourself, are you excited about what you do? What is it that is exciting to you? Have you discovered your purpose? How can you offer a service? For as you share your gifts and skills, clarity is found and you will pay those bills. Trust in spirit and the signs that guide you. For you will find that others will walk beside you. A construction worker creates bears and eagles from wood. And others see that his work is good. People will love what you create and will want and get excited about what you make. Creativity, if you enjoy what you do, will bring blessings in your life back. To you. So Gemini, what is it you're working towards? What is it you're working on that's going to bring you into a solid foundation by the end of 2020? Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless whichever Gemini I'm reading for with clearly defined messages regarding the second half of June of 2020 in the area of career finance and money. I'm going to do a Celtic spread. So by mid-June of 2020, wow, the high priest, Gemini, is looking at your life story and is recognizing how far you have come. There's a Gemini here who has obtained a lot of wisdom about something that they've always wanted to learn about or do. Though the number five is about unpredictable constant motion waiting to turn that chapter, to turn that page, to start into the path of success, which would be number six, following this wisdom. So it has been a time of putting together ideas, plans, putting things in action while you learn along the way. If you've been worried, Gemini, because the destiny card is showing up, Remember that in your thoughts position, what you have been learning, what you have been researching, what you have been putting your time and effort into will eventually lead you towards your destiny. But right now in the foundation, in your foundation during the second half of June of 2020, Gemini, it, this is a moment of rest and rejuvenation, of Sitting in a moment of pause as you think about the wisdom you are obtaining and the destiny you are wanting to eventually get up and go towards. This is a time to really pray to spirit, to meditate to spirit, to say, I am putting my effort in. Please guide me towards my destination. In the recent past, there was some form of material and spiritual prosperity that you were working towards, that you were actually feeling within. And now it goes from a six to a five, a moment to think, a moment to plan, a moment to rest before your destiny kicks into gear. So from the 16th to around the 23rd of June of 2020, we do have partnerships and alliance. Look at that. The Holy Trinity number three is showing up. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Spirit is going to guide you into 
partnership and alliance with another or others. You're just in a moment of pause to obtain more wisdom, to continue to research and build upon the next chapter of your life, knowing that spirit is going to bring you into partnerships with others, into your destiny. So in your actions position during the second half of June of 2020, Gemini, again, take action to meditate and pray to spirit for this partnership, this alliance, this situation to evolve. For spirit has definitely got your back with, again, the number three. The opportunity, maybe by the last week of June of 2020, to celebrate, to rejoice in celebration. Partnerships, wisdom, time, and effort. There's a Gemini here who knows that something is their destiny. They know who they are partnering with or they are coming into partnership with an opportunity to eventually celebrate. So we've got the number six, planning, and then a moment of pause, thinking about your destiny, taking time to rest before things get moving, and then coming into partnership and rejoicing in celebration by the end of June of 2020. Three plus three is six. Six is about success. Spirit is bringing you into connection with those whom will result in the rejoicing of a celebration. Maybe there are three of you partners. Maybe there are three ideas, three songs, three projects or friends that are leading you into success. So spirit is giving you in the spiritual advice position energies of great hope. The number 17 is about getting beyond differences and cooperating with others in a way where there will be some form of balance. So Spirit saying, continue to have hope that you will partner with the right ones and you will step into your destiny after this moment of pause and reflection. So in the hopes and fears position, there may be some fear here that someone is going to deceive you. Fear that someone's going to be jealous of your success. But continue to have hope in these partnerships, for I do believe that spirit is guiding this Gemini into the path of their destiny. So do not fear deception do not give in to energies of jealousy or worry when it comes to partnerships. But ground yourself and know that if you continue to have hope in this partnership and destiny, it will come. Yes. This whole process is guiding this Gemini to find balance emotionally and spiritually. Number 11 is about creating harmony with others, coming together with others. So do not fear deception, but instead ground yourself and have great hope that as you maintain balance, as you step into a new direction, for sure by the end of June of 2020, you're going to feel very balanced. as you are planning a new direction in connection with others. So I feel like this Gemini is worried, but spirit saying, look at all the wisdom you have obtained. Look at who you are working with. Know that there will be an action here of rejoicing and celebration. As long as, you know, energy really is important. If you think negatively, negative things will happen. If you think positively, positive things will happen. That's just the way of the world. So in a three-card summary to my left, we have got from the 16th to the 23rd, the energies of this power card. Beautiful. 
So like the elder, the elder or the lion, this is someone who sets goals and meets goals and they accomplish everything between where they are and where they want to get to. Like the lion with its prey. So we have a Gemini here who has, their passion was ignited. There was excitement about the number one, a new beginning. But before the new beginning can happen, there's like this process of accumulating a material harvest, planning how this is all going to come together before doing a what? Before moving on into a new direction. So the number six is about moving on towards success where prosperity will begin. Know, Gemini, that by the week of the 22nd of June of 2020, you still have Father, Son, Holy Ghost helping for you to give birth to something wonderful in your life creatively. And it's just important that you let go of old unhealthy energies that will keep you trapped or stuck, right? If you are fearful of the journey ahead, you could cause yourself to remain stuck and trapped, having to ground yourself before things can move forward. But Spirit's helping you to give birth to great change in your life in the second half of June of 2020. It's about recognizing your truth who you are, what you're doing, and how all of it balances you out in a magical, beautiful way. Yes, there will be changes in the area of things involving the financial and the material. But as long as you trust and remain balanced, that partnerships and hope will lead you towards your destiny. There will indeed be positive movement forward. For some of you, it may be that around the 8th of July of 2020, you're going to finally be able to travel or move maybe towards water and let go of old memories of love, what you used to love, what you used to be a part of. And instead, right now they're saying ground yourself with the base chakra for we are going to help for you to slowly but surely step into a very solid foundation. But don't let this mental conflict of deception or the inability to trust others block you. Instead, remain patient and hopeful. For you're going to come into an awareness that you're stepping into the light of the truth and you just had to get beyond some form of obstacles. That's all. Again, the number three. So you guys are really being blessed, Gemini, with whatever it is you are working on or towards in the second half of June of 2020. We've got the solar plexus chakra lighting up. This is about obtaining wisdom and power, able to now free yourself from energies of disruption or worry, able to now come into a new foundation home because of your achievements. And once again, your heart chakra is going to light up. You will receive attention and recognition when you find balance and hope and free yourself from worries of deception. So for clarification and closure, I'm going to bring in the Archangel Gabriel deck by Doreen Virtue. So dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please clarify for this Gemini, the current energies and that we have previously discussed for the second half of June of 2020. Yeah, see, it's time for new beginnings, but you're in the moment of the zero. Zero is about planning, contemplation, and high hopes. Putting time and effort into what will be when you actually step into a number one path. In fact, a renewed path, a better path, a path whereby you're going to feel more balanced. So here we are, mid-June of 2020, recognizing the wisdom, how far you have come, and where you are headed next. For Spirit is bringing you the birth energy, Gemini, new life, happy news, 
an exciting project that is going to blossom not only within you, but also around you. Continue to build upon the wisdom you have been working towards and on. Knowing in your thoughts position that spirit is guiding you towards your destiny. Now your destiny spirit saying has to do with the media. That you can reach more people by working with videos, audios, print, or online media. Sharing with the world this happy news that you are going to eventually give birth to. It is a time of rest and reflection. And again, like I said, it's a time to have confidence in your creations. Trust in the power of God's creativity, which is being manifested through you at this time. For you can reach people through music, through writing, writing songs, and online media in whatever and however that may apply. You will know as you hear these messages. In the past, there was some form of communication regarding material and spiritual prosperity. And you were being guided to nurture yourself. To invest time in self-care so that you can yield more energy later. So you are getting closer as you continue to obtain more wisdom. As you continue to put that information out into the world via community, society, social media, technology. Have confidence in what you are creating in the second half of June. For in your actions position, some of you, maybe even around the 3rd of July of 2020, you're going to be rejoicing in celebration. Listen only to love. Do not allow fear of, especially deception, to distract you from your divine mission. For some of you, you're going to be rejoicing in celebration. Listen to those who positively lift you up. For there are going to be partnerships and alliances that you have been blessed to come into connection with. And Spirit saying with the speeches and speaking energy, you have important messages to deliver that can help other people. So as you obtain some wisdom about your destiny, share this journey in some way to others via song, writing, speaking, Listen only to love because at some point this hopeful energy is going to free you from old fears and continue to build your motivation. So in the second half of June of 2020, Gemini, pray for guidance as to how to increase your enthusiasm for and focus on a particular project. For the more you are hopeful and positive, the quicker you will get to your destiny. Do not fear deception. Do not fear jealousy. Instead, have hope that you can get together and write with others. That you can get together and share what you're creating with others. The card says create or join a writer's group to gain inspiration, friendship, and support. It's not about being jealous. It's about coming together and inspiring others, coming together and communicating in a supportive way, definitely having to do with friendships, with partners, with alliances. Do not fear deception, but instead create a group that provides inspiration. You can motivate the group with this energy of hope being blessed upon you from spirit. So by the end of June, you are finding yourself in this energy of great balance. And why is that? Because spirit is bringing you happy news. Your prayer is answered in a very creative way. 
And this happy news is going to put you back into the energies of balance and contentment. And this angel is looking at the happy news over here, having to do with reaching people through video, audio, print, and online media. Happy news regarding your destiny. Because you remained hopeful, you remained motivated, and you continued to have confidence in what it is you are creating. Know that on the bottom of the deck, Gemini, Spirit is telling you that you are very deserving of happiness, good health, and love in your life. You are very deserving of the happy news that is headed your way. So if you have further questions and or you'd like your own personal energy read, feel free to write me for a personal reading at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one month, three month, six month and yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the now summer special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so very much to those of you whom have donated to keep the channel up and running. Take care, and God bless.